Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, or source for figure model updates Wednesdays and Fridays. So today on Figure Friday, I'm going to be doing a quick video on my progress on this kit. This is the kit that I did an unboxing last week on, and they're the Round the Corner set number three from Bravo 6. So they're a really dynamic set. I wanted to have them, uh, so I ordered another set from Bravo 6 when High Caliber Miniatures got theirs in. And yeah, I really like them. They look like, to me, they'd be perfect for an urban setting. So that's what I've got here. And I wanted to quickly talk about the starting phases of this base. So what this is, is it's a watch that I got off of Amazon. As you can see, the box is hollow. And as you can hear, it's some sort of cardboard composite cheap thing, but it's rigid and it's hollow. So I thought that I would keep it and kept it in my spares box for just this kind of project. So this is the same turf that you use to stand up artificial plants in, and you can get it at Michael's. I think that's where I got mine. This is obviously evergreen strip. And so what I did was I used carpenter glued, did a really thin layer of that, adhered this, let that set for a little bit, and then I went ahead and started to measure out the sides of this box. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of a height lip here. That, that was just so that uh, I didn't cut it too short. And also I wanted a little bit of extra so I could fill the fill it back up with rubble and make it a little more dynamic. The other lesson I learned from doing the Gorilla was to have an extra lip here. Now, this side's pretty much flush. I actually sealed this in with Crazy Glue and then hit it with Accelerator. And that's just so that the this side would hold the rest of the carpenter glue down firmly so this thing wouldn't slide around at all. And so back to this side here, what's going to happen is this is going to create a really positive joint for the other side that'll go on next. And then I can sand this back down. We'll get a really positive solid corner and that'll look a lot better than some of the corners that I got on the Gorilla Diorama. But yeah, basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have the figure, top figure here, second figure here. They're going to be coming down sort of a slope of rubble and I'm going to create a little uh, building corner, I suppose you could say, right in there. And that's going to also be made out of evergreen strip. But what I use basically, evergreen strip is really great. Uh, I haven't done too much with it so far, but you've got your little super accurate marker here and then exacto blade. But also having one of these mats with a grid on it is really nice. And this is the other thing you get when you're working with evergreen. So as you can see, this is the the strip that I cut the side out of, but with this spare stuff, I'm going to be able to create that corner that I wanted, or also stairs or anything like that, some of those geometric shapes. And yeah, I'm really excited about this diorama. Um, it's a bit smaller than the gorilla, so that's nice. I'll probably be able to bang this thing out. And yeah, like I said last year, I had been watching the Ken Burns documentary on Vietnam, and I also then read the book Matterhorn, and while there's not really any urban combat in that book, it really just, uh, it made me want to build another Vietnam uh, vignette diorama. So this is where we're at. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more progress on this thing. I'm really excited about it. And check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com. Links in the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks so much. See you guys next time.